<laughs> Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel, Holly in the Sky. I'm Holly. Definitely welcome if you are new. Today's video is another Universal Yums video and I'm super excited. Why am I super excited? Because we're going to South Korea. Yes, we are. And the reason I'm excited is because South Korea was actually the very first Universal Yums box that I tried. It is funny to look back and see the very first Universal Yums box that I've done to full circle and come back to South Korea. It's just pretty special. So before we jump into the snacks, be sure to hit subscribe and turn on your bell notifications so you don't miss videos from me. I make au pair videos, travel videos, and food videos. Let's jump into it. I'm excited because just from looking in I can see that the stuff that we're trying is completely different to the very first one which is exciting because I was a little bit concerned that now that they're starting to circle through some of the places we've already been that we would get the same snacks. Like in the Christmas box a lot of the snacks were similar to the very first Christmas box I tried so I was in mind I was like if they don't do new things I'm gonna have to stop my subscription which is Sad, but I've already tried all of the stuff so I wouldn't want to keep making the same videos on stuff I've already tried. Anyway, on to the cheddar on to the cheddar cheese kettle chips. Okay, at first smell they smell like nothing. They smell like um you don't smell cheddar, you don't smell cheese, I just smell like the foil. <laughs> wow, very, very orangey. Yum. These are amazing. They taste like those little jumpy chips, like the kangaroo ones that we have in Australia. And surprisingly to me, this doesn't really quite taste like cheese. It's yum. Hot chicken crunchy corn puffs, naturally flavored. <laughs> Holy sugar. <laughs> oh my gosh. Wow, they look, ooh, they smell good. Wait, hot chicken, hot. No, I don't wanna do spicy. By the way, that hot air just like blew, it was like it was contained and just ejected into my eye. It smells like chicken chips, but they don't look too dangerous. Famous last words. <laughs> These are amazing. Oh my gosh, this flavor, it tastes like like the sweet, almost honey chicken. I know I've only tried one thing, but this is my favorite so far. My tongue is burning, it's on fire. But other than that, this is so good. I remember you. Not again, South Korea packet strike back. Oh my gosh. I cheated. Kind of sweetish. I do remember trying these or something very similar. Nope, I'm pretty sure it was these. I don't taste the spiciness at all. And you guys know I'm not a spice person. So if I don't find them spicy, they're not spicy. We tried these last time, but we had a different flavor. I think we had like cookies and cream. Now we have almond and chocolate, and I'm not mad about that. I love almond and chocolate. Wait a second. They're all melted together. Can't share this with my host kids either. Such a shame. Yum, yum, yum. That is just like a pretzel base, kind of plain, not salted. Plain kind of pretzel stick covered in milk chocolate with almond chocolate. And um, it's amazing. Cocoa corn puffs. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, okay, this smells. <sighs> it smells amazing. First smell like cocoa puffs. <laughs> That's strangely weird, but nice. It's like a, in America, Cheeto Puffs or 
cheese and bacon ball texture and it looks like poo. <laughs> I just you could put this in a cat litter box and people would be like, mm, time to change. It's weird texture when you bite into it, but it's not bad. I like it. It's actually quite yummy. I don't know. It looks like a chocolate thing, but I'm assuming it's going to be white chocolate. Whoop, oh, oh. It's a crunched. Oh, oh. Maybe a wafer type thing or shortbread with chocolate. That is like shortbread texture, a little bit crispier when you first bite into it, like a wafer, but then the texture kind of goes more shortbready. And the chocolate, it's just good. That's yummy. Choco pie, green tea flavored. I'm not a green tea or any kind of tea person. My taste buds have grown and expanded over the years, so let's be positive. Oh, it smells like that gross chocolate again. It kind of looks like a wagon wheel. It's very green. This is kind of like that stale marshmallow and like the Christmas stockings that you get. This is gonna be a yeah. Like I'm not mad at it. It's not as bad as the first one I tried, like, but um, it's not as yummy as everything else. So it's a yeah. I have no idea what this is. Oh, it's a little crack. Oh, no way. Oh, Chelsea. It's the things! I'm sorry, but like, we have these in, in Australia, not this brand. Oh my god, I've had these. We have these in Australia and they're the best things ever and they're so yummy and they're just sweet, sour, tangy. Go to your Coles or your Woolies, go to the Asian section. It's a big packet, not in a bag like this. It's clear and it's got like yellow and red stripes on it. It's amazing and I can't wait to try this. Mm, it is, it's exactly the same. These are amazing. They're one of my favorite snacks ever. Victory pie. And from the little character on the packet, it's probably going to be a chocolate disc. Maybe not wearing the overalls. Dungarees, whatever people call them. I don't know. Oh, it smells interesting. Not fruity at all. It's a biscuit with chocolate. Crown Victory. If you don't like the fruity tasting things, you probably won't enjoy this, but it's good. Sweet and sour chewy. We have something like this in Australia. And they're literally sour chews. Pink and purple you can get. I'm sure you can get others, but, but you even open them the same. Strawberry flavored. It's got little strawberries on it. Ooh. They're a lot easier to chew in Australia. Probably because of the heat. That tastes exactly the same as the one at home. Not sour at all, but very yummy. I like it. You will remember this bad boy packaging. Ha! -ha. It is just as good as I remember. Crispy wafer, amazing filling, and I'm going to demolish this. Okay, we have two different types of lollies. These things, we have a rice candy and tangerine jelly. I'm gonna eat this properly first because I feel like I'm gonna like this one better. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, this smells like when you cut the grass, like fresh cut grass. It's literally a jelly block. Oh. Oh. It's not actually bad. Very lemony, very squishy, not terrible texture. Like sometimes jelly, those things can be really gross, but it's not. It's actually quite yummy. The final snack of our yum box. Oh, is a rice. I'd, there's something inside of it that is not. Oh, it smells interesting. It smells like popcorn. It looks like it's got bits of popcorn or those rice, rice, <laughs> the um, rice disc treats.
that is weird weird because it tastes like popcorn and it's not it's I don't know it's not quite buttery but not quite for me you definitely taste the corn or the rice type flavor as for the filling I didn't taste it or feel it there was no texture surprise when you crunched into it that was the very last snack of our yum box and before I give you the clue for next month's box I just have to say please leave a comment down below telling me what your favorite thing of this yum box was and if you are from South Korea. Are these snacks actually in your local store? Do you eat them? Are they your go-to snacks or are they snacks that you've never heard of or seen before? If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. And let's get on to our next clue. We're off to a country where magic is real, where the fiestas are lively and the coffee's ideal. There'll be tropical candies and bacon for your hungry mouth. So you'd better grab sunblock cause we're headed south. And I have two ideas of where that could be. Let me know what you think down below in the comments and I'll see you in my next video. Thank you for watching. Bye.